hey, we made a video last spring on the pros and cons of buying new construction. Since then, so many things that we said in that video are not true anymore. So this is an updated version of that. Let me tell you what's different. All right, so let me tell you what's going on with new construction right now. We have so many buyers coming into the Austin area. There are not enough houses for them and builders are trying frantically to increase inventory so that we have more houses for all these buyers. So, I mean, these people that work in these sales offices, you guys, they are working like 80 hour weeks right now. They're exhausted and they're trying their best to keep up. Um, there are not enough houses even now. So, so new construction used to be, you walk into a sales office, they show you what they got, you sign the contract, you put down your earnest money, what you see is what you get, and you pay the price and you get it, right? So one good thing about new construction in the past was that you didn't have to outbid someone else to get a house. Not so anymore. So now we've got some builders who are releasing new lots mm -hmm. and they're opening them up for bids because they know that there are 500 people who want their 10 lots that they have available and so they're just putting them out there and you make a bid on a lot to try to build it. There are other builders who are having lottery systems. I heard of one community out in Easton Park, one builder who had 50 people on a wait list and three lots to sell. So that you had to put your name in a hat and be entered into a drawing and whoever won the lottery got the lot. Another thing that used to be super great about going into new construction communities was that you could choose to either buy a lot and build from the ground up, or you could buy an inventory home, which is like a spec home that the builder was building. It would already be partially through and you might be able to move in in the next few months. Um, you didn't get to choose as many things, but you still got a brand new house that was ready soon. Uh, there's no inventory homes right now. <laughs> very, very, very few inventory homes because they can't keep up. They sell as soon as they have a house ready. Um, so if you're going to buy new construction, you got to be prepared for it to take like a year. You're not going to be able to find an inventory home that's going to be ready. You're going to have to buy the lot and build from the ground up. And the build process that used to be six to eight months, I'm seeing it take much longer. I'm seeing it take nine, 10. I'd be prepared for a year. I haven't seen that yet, but, um, it's taking longer. And that is because there's all these delays in the process due to not enough workers to build all the houses, due to delays with COVID. So like for instance, we get our lumber from the East Coast. So if there's a COVID outbreak in one of those East Coast lumber plants, they've got to cut back their crews. We don't get the lumber in time. Our build process is delayed. So we've seen tons of things like that with just the supplies needed that haven't been here in time and have pushed the building timelines back longer than they've been before. I said earlier that the people that work in the sales offices are totally overwhelmed. Um, they, it, it, it's too much, it shows. So you walk into a sales office, they're gonna show you what they've got and then the next week, if you walk in, if they happen to still have anything that they had the week before, it's going to cost you more the next week. I've seen some builders raise their prices by $5,000 a week right now. Um, so that kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth if you're a buyer just watching that happen. It's all part of the market, all part of supply and demand. Um, but it, it, you know, it, feel, it feels kind of gross if you're a buyer to walk in and have that kind of crazy price increase. The other thing is that a lot of builders are not able to give buyers updates on their builds like they used to. So we used to get like a weekly update on what is happening with construction. Here's pictures of your house this week, you know, they framed it and they put in electrical or whatever. We're, we're not getting those kind of updates now because they don't have time to keep up with it. Uh, so, so the customer service isn't quite what it used to be. Got to have accurate expectations going into it. Um, it's good if you have a realtor who can help do some of that legwork and watch the build process and send you pictures and stay on top of what's going on. Try to fight for you to get um, at least the front of the line on the timeline. So it's going to take a while anyway, but if you're the squeaky wheel with a realtor, sometimes it really makes a difference. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you next time.